Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. I'm Riley and today I will be showing you some life hacks to have fun while you do your spring cleaning. Spring cleaning can get a bit boring and most people don't want to clean at all. I don't and I'm sure you don't. But these are some ways to actually have a bit of fun while you clean even though it can get pretty boring. At least you can have a good time. So. Subscribe if you like the video, and let's get to it! This next life hack is pretty simple, and it doesn't exactly make spring cleaning funner, but it does make it a bit weird. People, if they see you doing this, they would be like, why are you doing that? Because it involves one thing, and that one thing is a bagel. Bagels are great for getting lint and dust off of things, so you, all you have to do is take a bagel and split it in half. You only need half a bagel to do this because it's the inside that you want to clean. Okay, with the other bagel half you could just set it to the side and use it later. All you do is take the bagel and rub it on wherever you see dust. And ta-da, it picked it all up. The little rim around your room is a place for dust to hide. I'm just gonna take the bagel and rub along it, and it's getting rid of all the dust. The dust is hard to see because it's not a very dark surface, but it definitely got it off. Though this method is plenty effective, there is one downside, and that is that the bagel leaves crumbs if you push too hard, but if you just go lightly, it won't get any crumbs anywhere. Let's say you got a lot of laundry. I sure have a lot of laundry, and I know that I won't get this done in one load. The trick to getting your laundry done faster is to put one through the washer. That will take the normal amount of time, but then when you put your wet clothes in the dryer, put a dry towel with it so that it'll dry faster. And that's all there is to it. If you're watching this video, you're probably a girl and you probably have a hairbrush that may or may not look like this. There is a lot of hair because I have a lot of hair and haven't cleaned this in a while, which is pretty gross. Here's the way to clean it. I have this wire and I'm just going to go right through it. until it pokes out the side, this. And take the other end and go through it as well. And then I'm going to take the ends and pull that out. See, easy, and now I have a hairless hairbrush. And this disgusting thing Okay, <laughs> let's move on. This next hack requires tongs, two socks, and two hair ties or rubber bands. This is for cleaning your blinds. First, what you're gonna do is take your two old socks and put them on both of the tongs. Like so. And now you're going to take the hair tie and loop it around until it's tight. What you're going to do is clamp down and slide across. It gets all the dust out on both sides of each of the blinds. Look at all this dust I got. The next life hack is for how to clean your baseboards. You need any kind of cleaning spray. You can make one with dishwashing detergent and water. 
an old sock, a Q-tip, a clip, and some kind of stick. To set this up, you're gonna need to put the stick inside the sock. I'm gonna roll up the sock a little bit because it is a little bit too long. And just clip it down like that. Now, you can take your spray and just get the sock. And that's just how you set it up. The Q-tip will be for later. What you're gonna do is take your sock and rub it along the baseboards. This will pick up all of the dust on there and it's perfect for cleaning up bagel crumbs after a little girl on YouTube tells you to rub a bagel along your baseboards. Ta-da, and look how much dirt that picked up. The Q-tip is for the corners of your baseboards. All you're gonna do is take your cleaning solution and spray the end of the Q-tip. And not get the wall like I just did. Whatever, let's roll with it. Okay, and now you're going to run the Q-tip along the baseboards. Get all the dirt out. Look, look how much dirt I'm getting. <laughs> Here's a great way to clean your keyboard and all you'll need is sticky notes. All you do is take a sticky note and take the little sticky side and run it between the keyboard. Folding an edge will make it much more efficient. Look at that dust it picked up. And that's it for today's video. Subscribe for more content and like if you liked it. Subscribe if you really liked it. And bye bye. Oh, all of the downs and the uppers keep making love to each other. And I'm trying, trying, trying. To be honest, I can't believe that worked. I made that up. Oh my god, it looks so disgusting. Oh my god. And I didn't even have to touch the hair. <gasps>